So transposition is, uh, this is the method that is used by rearranging the letters of a string that makes sense. So I have written a block of data. This data to me makes sense because I know what is the key. Uh, the key is a transposition cipher. I have written the text vertically, but of course we humans read the text horizontally. So for a novice person, this becomes an unintelligible code. But for a person who has key, if I if I provide a key to the party, for example, that it is it is transposed vertically. If I if I tell it to a party, he will read it as an intelligible code. So it is the bag is on the table. The bag is on table. So this is a meaningful code to a person who knows that it is transposed vertically. But it's not used in security infrastructures because it is too easy to break. Okay, then coming back to the more important ciphers are uh, block and stream ciphers. So encryption algorithms can operate always operate on blocks of data at a time or bits and bytes of data as they come in and as they are processed by a receiver or a sender. Uh, and uh, block cipher is a symmetric key cipher. What does symmetric key cipher means? Symmetric key cipher means that the same key is used for, encrypt for encryption and decryption that operates on a group of bits called as a block. So a block cipher encryption algorithm may take up to 64 bit of block of plain text and generate a 64 bit block of cipher text. So with this type of encryption, the key to encrypt is also used to decrypt because as I said before, it uses a symmetric key cipher. Block ciphers means they, um, that the algorithm is run on a block of data. Now let's cover what are stream ciphers. So, so a stream cipher is also a symmetric key cipher where the plain text data is to be in, uh, that has to be in, encrypted is done bit by bit. So it's not done on a 64 uh, bit chunk of data. It is done by, uh, it, is, it is done continuously. So, and that cipher, the output stream that comes out is called a cipher digit stream or a cipher text stream. Uh, the cipher text stream that comes out uh, is, of course, indecipherable because it has been encrypted and worked upon by the stream cipher. So because a given algorithm, uh, depending on what algorithm is used, the cipher text stream does not have to fit in a given block size of data. There may be slightly less overhead than the block cipher because uh, in stream cipher, there is no use of using padding. So a 10-bit chunk will result in a 10-bit cipherable data. It will not result in a 64-bit cipherable data because there is no padding that is needed. In symmetric key, the same key is used for encryption and the same key is used for decryption. But in terms of, but when we talk about an asymmetric algorithm, the keys that are used for encryption are not the same that are used for decryption. Let's, let's come to hashing. Right. So hashing is a method that is used to verify data integrity. Uh, this is in comparison to encryption that is used to safeguard data confidentiality. We have hashing algorithms that, that ensure that data integrity is maintained. So when I asked about examples of uh, you downloading a uh, image uh, or a software from the Cisco official website, uh, once you download it, you always have an option to verify its checksum uh, or uh, verify using MD5 algorithm. So that verification is used to ensure that that image or that software package is not corrupt. 